Well, as you may know, title of this video uh, basically saying there was never meant to be a part five. And pretty much um, this video is here to kind of explain from what I know what is going on with this uh, Jim Jack 336 stuff. And it's got an FCRD, uh, NRE, which I have my own suspicions. I will get into that in a bit. But uh, this is getting a lot of the community involved, and um, I didn't th I didn't think it would get this big, honestly. I I didn't think Fat Ho the AI two there there was a version one of Fat Ho the AI that ran rampant around 2018. But the the main thing of this is to kind of explain what is going on. Not really what's going on, because frankly I'm not sure why we're getting this now. Five years after the last trolls were kind of fizzling out, but uh, I'm just gonna give out what I know. There's a lot of questions, and I want to answer as much of those as I can in this video, and uh, we'll go ahead and go into that. All right. So as you may have known, um, these videos that are claiming that Jim Jack 336 is behind the modding community of FCRD, NRE. Uh, possibly NCRD designs, which uh, I 100% doubt. I, I would, I just, I'm not even really focused on any of this, really. I'm just trying to figure out why he's saying these things. And now, after five years of being silent, but basically, at the end of the day, uh, Fat Ho the AI is trying to expose WKC. FCRD and whatnot for being controlled by Jim Jack 336. So back in 2018, when these first came out, um, Jim Jack 336 was um, was a YouTube channel I used to watch. Heck, I would even say late 2016, maybe even. Um, that's when I first started getting on YouTube. But uh, pretty early on. When I was on YouTube, I started watching Jim Jack 336, and uh, I had buddies like, uh, you know, how uh, Fat Ho the AI has mentioned Cook 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 Sim Racing. Um, we were kind of buddies, and TWF Wolf now uh, now known as, uh, well, I don't know if I'll, uh, now known as OMGS Jags, and then um, that Fortnite Kid 97 who's now uh, Zine, but or Seven I is I repronounced that, but. Um, anyways, we used to watch these live streams back in 2018 that Jim Jack 336 used to do, and these live streams were pretty much just, I, I don't exactly remember what they were, but based on how he was, um, doing things, I would imagine they were under some three live streams again, just five years ago, my memory is very crusty, I can't really find any video evidence of his old YouTube channel since it's very long gone, it was it's been gone since... 2017 or yeah 2017 and uh shoot actually this might have been what no it was 2018 uh 27 yeah no some of this went into okay yeah i'm getting my ears mixed up so 2017 was the year jim i used to watch his videos 2016 maybe early but 2018 was when all this stuff going on like early 2018 late 2017 was when all this stuff was going on five almost six years ago now but uh Anyways, we used to watch his videos, um, but then uh, one day he announced he's going to quit doing those, and um, he ended up deleting his channel about a day later. I remember that. Um, and then um, there was this YouTuber named uh, KBFan18, and back in 2018, you could uh, live stream from your phone, like for everybody, not just channels that had 1,000 subscribers, and... KB, KB fan 18 now James Lewis uh, you may have heard that from some of the Fat Ho the AI and Fat Ho the AI 2's exposement videos of him being kind of rude I won't deny he was kind of toxic but I don't think to the extent that Fat Ho the AI was trying to expose him as but nonetheless um, back to the story anyway so KB fan 18 he did live streams of diecast racing basically uh, he moved around cars and simulated racing. Uh, Zion did the same thing. I, I, did, I did one in 2018, but I won't get into that since it's fairly unrelated to this. But uh, anyways, 
um, we were doing those races, and we started seeing these troll accounts uh, pop up. And it's not until recently that I found out that uh, Fat Ho the AI, the original, I never found this, I never stumbled upon this video, even though I, 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 I watched, I felt I thought I watched most of the videos on that channel, but per, clearly I didn't, not seeing that um, Fat Ho the AI had posted that uh, there was a screenshot of all the alt accounts. Um, here, here it is right here. All those alt accounts. And I seen it in one of Fat Ho the AI 2's most recent um, recent videos, the most recent KB Fan 18 exposement video, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, he he uh, did that, and just a few days uh, about yesterday, actually, of recording this audio, uh, I looked at that and it added up. Jim Jack 336. I know that was his original account because um, he stated it. In the most recent Jim Jack 336 video I did back in June, I think it was July 20th, 2018. That was the last one I did. And I kind of ended it after that and it kind of died off. Jim Jack 336 said something there and and said he was Jim Jack 336 from the memeologist meme account. And that was kind of the end of that. So, but nonetheless, though, I seen that account with these troll accounts. Um, and this was well after. About five months after Fat Ho the AI had quit posting from his original account, that, I, that this has happened about, about I think it was early early 27 t yeah 2018, and uh trying to think what happened next, but um here let me see, but anyways that that video that exposed that Jim Jack three three six was behind the alt accounts. I didn't see that until a few days ago, but it had been there all this time, even five years ago. It was the second to last video that the original Fat Ho the AI channel did. I never saw it until a few days ago, but that really exposed that Jim Jack 336 was behind the alt accounts and he was trolling. Um, and seeing these new troll accounts, several of them, names knocking off of Jim Jack 336, KB Fan 18 account, that new account. Of Kibby Fanatina, he changed his name to James Lewis on his account. And hasn't posted in five months. Uh, he he might become active and see this soon, but I'm not sure. But regardless of that, he also made a Zach 103 TV or Zach IO3 IO3 TV, as you may see, um, alt account and trying to expose myself as Jim Jack 336, which I know I'm not, but I I can see how people would think I am because. I'm the only person really make. I was the first person making noise about this when I was getting. Um, so this is where it all started. This um, this year, uh, about about a month ago, as of recording this audio, um, I got a DM on Discord from this user. Yeah, this user nrext dot corp. I got this message on August 31st of 2023. This year, as of recording this audio. Um, that that was a red flag for sure um it was an oddly specific request as if it wasn't really a bot but the fact that mentioned in our time three which is kind of not really something you would see in the bot message so this was very suspicious i didn't think too hardly of it and then it just blocked the account but not really at the same day within an hour of that message i got a uh Friend request. That I, I'm almost certain is related. Uh, the timing is just too, too coincid. I don't believe it's coincidence. It's just too. The timing is so relevant. I think it was two hours after I got that DM. I got a friend request from an account named Slim of a Jack 36. Um, and in the uh, about it said. Pulling the streams of the Inner Southern Three community since 2017, which uh, pretty much was kind of the beginning of it all, and it had the same exact profile picture as Jim Jack 336 used to have. It's still on his old Twitter, um, which he didn't delete. He kept up, which hadn't posted anything since 2018. Uh, that's dead. And his Reddit, um, it's still there, but it's he hasn't posted anything on there in a long time and doesn't have a profile picture. The the actual Jim Jack 336. Now. I also found out he has a Discord account that is in the Intersum 3 Discord server as well. He just has the Microsoft Edge profile picture 
from what it was in 2017 or well, 2018. His last message was in 2018, but nothing really too significant. I don't believe it's worth mentioning here at this point. But regardless, Jim Jack 336 was a real person, but it's not even a question now who is he is. It's just why is this going on now? But to continue on, uh, the Slim of a Jack guy really, that was the probably bigger of the red flags I had seen about this. And it, 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 I was concerned. Um, I was like, all right, maybe it's just, you know, something that's going to blow over. Now, uh, there was something that happened in 2020, I believe, as well. There was another alt account, Jim Jack 336, except it was um, a, a Thunder Troll account on Discord. Uh, it was actually named Jim Jack 336. I could tell it was a troll. That was 2020. I didn't think much of it then. I still don't think too much of it now. I think, I think it's sparked by a similar person of now, but it wasn't to the extent of what it is now, where we have, well, obviously what is what we've seen from Fatho the AI too, and all these troll accounts that have been commenting on his videos and my videos as well on YouTube. But uh, anyways, we start. I started seeing these accounts, but anyways, I thought it was just something like that. From like 2020, I was like, all right, maybe it's nothing much. But uh, I had a new subscriber on my YouTube, and uh, it, it was a user by the name of Slim Snack 36, which I didn't really think about their username. I, and I didn't really read it to be honest when they first subscribed. And they were commenting on my videos like, hey, nice video, whatever. And I, I didn't see the username, so I didn't think much of it until. Uh, I think it was a couple days later, I got another subscribe from another user. This user was uh, named Crippy Swap, which I didn't think too much of either, especially seeing their username didn't really correspond with much. But one thing these two users had in common, their channels were relatively new. It, this Crispy Swap guy subscribed to me the day of his account creation, which was oddly very suspicious. And then Slim Snack, I, I decided to look at his channel too, and he appeared to have uh, subscribed to... Uh, this a couple days after his account was made, and he actually posted a short to his channel, which was NR two thousand three something weird. And I I found that very odd. That's still up, but uh, that that was another thing that I found interesting. And and then uh, this was all on uh, the Cars Link Up series Michigan uh, regular season eliminator. Which I don't think it's really much of a factor of it, but nonetheless something interesting. Anyways, um, I, I got another comment from another new user named KBFan18, which was identical to the alt that I was in the image at the beginning of the video um, that had all of Jim Jack 336's alt accounts from 2015, except this one was just a recreation. And again, this one was made on the exact same day that my that uh, he commented on my uh, Michigan Race video and... Uh, he just said something nice about the video. I didn't think I thought a lot of it because KBFan18. I haven't seen that username in years, and you know KBFan18, the actual the actual real person, changed his uh, username profile picture about five years ago. Uh, and it had the profile picture was a series logo I made for him back in 2018. And uh, how he got a hold of that, I'm not 100 sure. Probably the same way he got hold of it in 2017, or not 2017, 2018, as he did now. But uh, I'm boldly assuming whoever is behind that is either a troll or at actually Jim Jack 336 trying to troll, I guess. I, I'm not sure, but I, I'm doing with what I'm working with what I can here. Jim uh, Fatho the AI too, his main goal is to expose who is Jim Jack 336. And I don't know why he's so adamant about that now or robot, whatever that is. I'm pretty sure it's an actual person, but claims to be a robot. Nonetheless, uh, there was some stuff on Reddit. So there was a few things on Reddit. So initially, I was going through Reddit about, I think it was about a few days after these accounts popped up, and they, there was a uh, Reddit account by the name of Zach one of, one of three, which obviously is a knockoff of my username. That's blatantly obvious. Um, posted a thread on the NR73 subreddit asking about Jim Jack 336 and a lengthy comment. Um, and that was kind of the, that really made me mad. 
that was really like, okay, something's up. So that was another thing that happened. And then there was a lot of other stuff on Reddit. In fact, to the point, it's just kind of over, a little bit overwhelming. Um, I'll go through some of it here, though. But some stuff just blatantly, obviously, posted by these troll accounts, Fatho the AI, and these, these troll accounts. They've merged to Reddit along with Discord and YouTube, so now Reddit's involved. Um, Twitter also starting to get their fair share of Fatho the AI. He got Twitter, and it using that within his videos that he's making um, from his new channel. Um, and we're seeing those now, and, and it's just, I don't know what to think of it. Also unrelated, uh, I also got an Instagram follow from a user with another weird username like that. Um, with a profile picture of actually one of the paint schemes I made for the NCCRS, which is a offline league, I uh, an offline series division I run here on this YouTube channel as well. But uh, I don't think that's too related to saying I'm not too active on Instagram and nothing much has came of that account or anything on Instagram anyway. But I think it's just more to stir the pot of this trolling. But anyways, moving on. Uh, one... Uh, I'm just kind of conclude this. I'm going to, so I got a DM from an account called NRE on discord and it was fairly out of the blue. Um, and it led me to their website, which obviously spam DM being in a message like that to a website is suspicious in and of itself. But with all this stuff going on, it just made me even more suspicious of it and thinking, Oh yeah, it's probably one another one of them trolls. But, Looking into, they've been around for quite a while themselves. However, around the time that Jim Jack grew through six, kind of started to leave. So, another suspicion of mine, I can't confirm nor deny. And again, I won't get too involved with these predictions and whatnot, but I think NRE is really involved in this as well, as possibly being Jim Jack grew through six or a part of that anyway. But um, he DM'd me, linked to his website, and I also, he, he was on YouTube as well. So, looked at that, and I noticed that. His videos, some especially, actually all of them are kind of older, from about the same time, 2018. The name, so Jim Jack 336 used to call his mods, or his videos, by the mod name or for NR2003 instead of NR2003. He'd be calling them like NR2018 or NR2017. And it appears as if NRE does the same thing. I will also mention that modding is another thing these trolls have been po uh, saying on Discord, specifically. Um, the, uh, well, I would, I, maybe not so much the trolls, but I've heard a lot about modding with Jim Jack 336, especially with that Reddit post, the initial one I found by Zach103, which is not me, that stated that Jim Jack 336 is part of the modding. And in RE, that's what they were specializing in is modding, modded EXEs, which is, I'm not really 100% sure of the whole goal behind that is. But I'd imagine it's it's something of that nature, something like that. But anyways, they would um, name these EXEs, and I'm pretty sure Jim Jack 336 is actually making mods, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'd have to watch some of his old videos to know for sure from a memeologist meme YouTube channel, which is still up. Um, but these uh, this NRE was very uh, very very close to Jim Jack 336 in the way of how they um listed things i guess you could say and that's one thing i'm a little bit suspicious of i won't get too much into it though seeing my goal of this is video is not to expose or nothing like that or even just drive this conspiracy forward it's to explain what i know about this supposed conspiracy and try to clear some things up and uh at this point i wouldn't even say try to make it go away because i think that's just kind of fizzle out again i'm hoping but some disclosure would be preferred on this. We'll see what happens. But anyways, that was NRE. Now, the irony of this, um, he posted on Reddit that uh, TC Chapman was planning on using a software to use GitHub or whatever to make a repository of sort to try and dig out the NRT3 source code to improve the game overall. Um, 
as of making this video, he he released a statement video announcing the uh, TC Chapman 500. Re released a statement video announcing that um, the release of the source code would happen, and or the planned release. And he said it would take a few years, so that's no surprise there. But anyways, the fact that NRE and TC Chapman 500 work together there, and then the release of the source code being or the re the plan release or whatever source code whatever they're trying to do with that be planned and then announced like that the timing is just very interesting in my opinion then nre posting that and then supposedly collabing i'm not getting too conspiracy on that but i'm just saying um that being timed like that has gotten me a little concerned for tc chapman specifically nre not really out of the woods in my opinion of whatever's behind this conspiracy stuff but uh we'll see how it all figures out because it's not over yet there's still a lot going on there's still videos fat how the ai is making that is blatantly just trying to stir the pot and make this more of a conspiracy and more honestly i think it's trying to desensitize the nr community but we'll see how that goes on that aspect um but when uh so Fatho the AI was mostly just focusing on me, KB fan eighteen, um, OMG is Jags, and a little bit of Cook Sim Racing on his videos, at least for the first few videos he made. And then um when Area twenty three announced they were going to cease from making tracks, um, this was just timed around because John Norton, WKC, um, was being pretty petty about that stuff. So pretty much just ended up this uh, being rude about stuff like that. I won't go too much into that, as most of you all have seen. And I'm not sure if any videos have been made on that, but that's something that's there. But regardless, that is... Uh, he made a uh, fat the AI too made a video on that discussing the exposure of WKC and went as far as to say as he went to Venezuela. That is insane in my opinion, but well, I just that is dement is far reaching. I, I it's just odd. I don't know why that whole thing is going, but it, it's just weird. But regardless, he went from just trolling, you know, three people, three or four people, and now he's, now he's got the whole NR community involved, and he's gotten Area 23, FCRD involved, they're kind of the same group of sort, but it, it's, it's now getting to the point of what is, what's the goal behind here, and, and the whole thing is, these, that whole AI V2 is trying to state that Jim Jack 336 is behind these modding groups he is controlling these modding groups and i'm just not seeing it he's stating these things i'm not seeing it. that's just me though but i don't know what the whole thing is but it's clearly got me concerned that he's made he's going this far out and um it was it had me concerned from the beginning with the with the comeback but it's getting serious now and uh from this point, I, there's really a lot of unknowns, and we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to figure it out video uh, video by video, I guess, or however this works out. But at the end of the day, we need to uh, just realize that this is probably just a whole bunch of hogwash, and move on. I think would probably be the best move. I might be wrong, but I think that's the best move. I may also oh I forgot to mention um he somehow got a hold of my Discord, started a group chat, and blatantly just pretty much just asking for evidence and making statements and whatnot but uh one thing I, before i close this video uh fcrd posted on reddit a video of a truck render scene and fat ho the ai was tickled pink when he saw that um um when he especially when he's seen the last part i am fairly certain that's just a troll i think fcrd he's, he's noticed this and he's like <laughs> I'll show you I'm behind Jim Jack 336. But yeah, that's just a troll from Thomas. So 
I'm fairly certain that's the case. But anyways, um, if any, if I get any more info, we may have to end up making a part six. I really didn't want to make a part five, but here we are, and that's that. Um, some of the old videos are up. Uh, I did keep a few of them unlisted. I'll link the ones in the description. Well, maybe I won't. I don't know, but uh, there are a few that are public, but some of them are unlisted for privacy reasons. Some that are just blatantly stupid. But the old ones from 2018 that I made that are there. It, remember, I was 13. I wasn't very smart. But at the end of the day, we'll figure this out, and hopefully, uh, hopefully this goes over, and uh, we'll have to worry about it. Is Batho the AI is trying to say that he's that the in our community as a whole is trying to destroy itself or something? But at the end of the day, I just don't think that's the case. I think he's just going on tangents. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here before I go on too far. If I'm a, I may have messed up on some of this, but this is the evidence that I was able to put together for what's going on. Not really, somewhat, not really sure why at the end of the day, but there's some connections here and there that are worth mentioning, and some stuff that was definitely worth mentioning as well. But uh, I believe I covered most of it. If I did miss anything, uh, let me know, and I'll fix what I did miss and. Uh, try to correct any misconceptions that I may have caused or whatever, but uh, peace out, and uh, hopefully we don't have to make a part six.